Let's talk about Stephen King. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got a... What are we going to call this? A Stephen King TBR anticipation reading kind of thing. Pretty much, he has written about 74, 75 books. I don't know if I'm including Final Task or Fairy Tale with that accurate number. Um, he's about in the middle of the 70s in terms of books he has written, including collections and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not including nonfiction stuff. And I'm down to my last 20, excluding Final Task and Fairy Tale, which are supposed to be coming out this year. So. I have compiled a list of the top five that I'm looking forward to reading the most, and I'm going to go over those with you. But first, I'm going to be letting you know the 20 I still need to read. Uh, also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the books. Alright, so first I'm going to mention the 20 I still have, uh, and we'll post like a little graphic of them up here when we get to it. Alright, so... The first one I still technically have to read is The Stand, the cut edition, which was published first in the 70s. Then I have The Talisman, The Dark Half, Insomnia, Rose Matter, Bag of Bones, Black House, Lissy's Story, Duma Key, 112263, Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, End of Watch, Revival, Sleeping Beauties. Those are the novels that I'm missing. And the collections I still need to read are Skeleton Crew, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, Hearts in Atlantis, Everything's Eventual, and Bizarre Bad Dreams. Um, by the time this is out, I might have already read Gwendy's Final Task because that comes out next week. Um, so that very well might be done. Otherwise, if this goes up after that, then that video will come out as soon as I can try and get it done. I'm planning to do a reading vlog with it, so after I read it the day of release day, which is February 15th, um, stay tuned for like the 16th, hopefully not the 17th, we'll try and get it up on the 16th, but I'm going to get a reading vlog on that one as soon as possible. So, uh, And then obviously fairy tales in September, so I can't do anything with that quite yet. So, I have five books here that I'm mostly anticipating, um, and what I would say is, I wouldn't, I'm not going to limit you guys to just these five. If any of those 20 that I mentioned speak out to you the most and you want me to read it the most, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do a reading vlog on the one that gets the most votes. Um, but in no particular order, the five that I'm mostly anticipating here uh, is I've got Duma Key. Uh, this is a one about a painter. I think he loses an arm or something like that, and his paintings just kind of start coming to life when he goes to this island, and it's kind of a mysterious story. Um, one of my one of the people I watch on YouTube said that this is in his top five, so but he's like the only person I've heard of say it's in their top five. So, but I am intrigued with it. So. Uh, this is in there as one of my most anticipated, as well as Revival. Um, by what I hear, this is kind of like his Frankenstein-type book. Um, I definitely need to give this a read. I've been wanting to, and as you guys have probably noticed, it's probably been about... Probably been on about, like, five TBRs, and just has never happened. It is one of his more thinner books compared to these other books monsters I have here with me so I'm very excited to try and get to this one and uh, yeah there's revival and that brings me to the talisman which a lot of people don't like this story um, and I want I would like to see the third one made but somebody had commented in a previous video saying that Peter Straub's health is like not at the best, so that possibly might not happen. But I'm hoping King might write it like for him? I don't know. I just want King to keep writing books. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, but yes, this is followed by Black House, which a lot of people said Black House has got more like 
Dark Tower references, and it's a better book than this one. But to me, since Black House is a sequel, even though you guys said I don't necessarily need to read this one first, in my mind I do, so that's why I have The Talisman as a book I need to read, because I want to get to Black House eventually. So, uh, this one I don't know a whole lot about it, I just know it's got a reoccurring uh, character named Jack, Jack Sawyer, So, uh, which I think he was in the Tommyknockers. I think he was mentioned, because somebody mentioned some kid named Jack and about his mom running away or something like that, and I think that's what happens in this book, so, uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Talisman, which leads me into my most anticipated collection, and that's Skeleton Crew. So, this book I've already read four stories in, um, I have read, I read The Mist which was a five star, The Monkey, which was a five star, uh, The Raft, which was a five star, and Here There by Tigers, which is a story about like this tiger that just like shows up in this restroom at a school, and I don't know, I just thought it was weird, I think it get, I, I didn't like rate it at the time, I just happened to read it after I read The Mist, because in between The Mist and The Monkey was that story, so just happened to read it. Um, there are a couple other ones in here that I know a lot of people like talk about, like The Jaunt, uh, Grandma, I hear is like a really creepy one. So, I, I, there's other ones I need to read in here, and obviously I'll probably do like my star ratings for the whole entire collection, and then I'll let you guys know my overall rating and what story stood out to me. Just the usual, so. And there you have Skeleton Crew, which leads me into the last book which is one that I've talked about numerous times and a lot of you guys have like voted for this book to be the book I read um, this actually came in second for like my 100th book of 2020 which I think that ended up being um, it ended up being a king book but I don't remember what it ended up being it was between like Under the Dome maybe it was Under the Dome no it was not Under the Dome it was between a couple of different books Gone Girl was involved and I think it ended up being a King book, but I really, I just can't remember what King book it was. Um, but I'm sure we can eventually figure that out. But, 112263, um, this is a more like historical fiction book, which is part of the reason why, you know, a lot of people have this in their top 10, top 5, but to me, like, a historical fiction book just doesn't speak out to me, like, in the best of ways, but... At the end of the day, this is, like, a lot of people's, like, favorite book. It's in their top five. And I just need to read it. So, in terms of, like, a novel, I would say this is probably the most anticipated one that I have left. So, um, Insomnia is another one that I feel is a really good story that I need to read, too. Um, that is one that I did start and never finished. Same with this guy. Uh, eventually I got through Under the Dome, and that was a heck of a journey, and a very good story. So, uh, yeah, there you have 11.22.63, and my five most anticipated books to still read by Stephen King. Alright, so those are my five most anticipated reads for Stephen King. As we said, uh, we would like you guys to also kind of have a say and a vote, um, but I will say that any of the 20 that I'm missing... Also a fair game, so if you did not catch that, uh, let's restart the video because we'll have all of the 20 that I'm missing. I'll read them off and we'll have a graphic on the screen. Um, I will say uh, be be gentle because there's I am yet to find an audiobook for the cut version of The Stand, yet everyone says that there is one, but I have been unable to find it. Um, it's a book where if I were to just do a clean read on it, it would take me a long time to get through it, I feel like, and I would prefer to have some kind of audiobook help with getting through that. Um, but, anyway, all the other ones, fair game, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below, um, and just let me know your favorite king that I haven't read yet, you know, out of that 20 and... We'll include that in the list. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.